Yeah, this this thing that I was reading or that listening to rather this uh, Sam Harris podcast, very fucking interesting because they they're talking about the what we actually know about the data and where it's coming from and who, how these people are doing this and how they're setting these things up. Yeah, that guy, the comic that you and I talked about. Mm -hmm. um, Again, that clip of this Russian who's a former KGB guy who defected to this country, explaining how it works. Mm, back in the yeah, 80s. Yeah. Explaining exactly how it works. And what he was saying, this is 30-something years ago, 35 years ago, is going down exactly the way he explained right. it. And Putin is a KGB you know? guy. Oh, Christ, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but that's... This idea that Trump's working with him is fucking silly well i don't know about that I, I don't think he's working with them to undermine democracy but i definitely think they've got some business dealings i mean they were offering well, him yes, the trump, but that's not illegal the penthouse and trump that's power. not illegal none of that is illegal don't take that from me take that from alan dershowitz i don't he's smarter than both of us i'm not saying it's illegal but i don't think that he was honest about that he said i don't do any dealings with russia i don't have any business with russia and he definitely did that's just not true well we'll see we'll see that's what they're targeting they're not going to get him for anything. You don't think so? No. Nah. You think he's going to just... Well, maybe impeachment, but I even on, on what case... I don't even know what they get him, uh, high crimes and misdemeanors. I don't, I don't know what, what he's done. To talk about building a tower in Moscow is not illegal, or to have business. And what, he, what did he lie about specifically? Well, there's a lot. Like what? I mean, we could pull it up. Let's, pull, let's find out all the things well, that you're going to go to salon.com? No, you can go to a billion, million different websites. Well, I know. I mean, well, okay, but which what ones do you are telling the good? We, we just established website. that the, the fucking social media tilts left. So Yes, social media does. We're yeah. not talking about pulling up social media pages. What are you pulling up? I don't know. Washington I'm Post? Ask, I'm, gonna, I'm, like, I'm not a Trump scholar. I, haven't, I don't oh, I have at my disposal all the different times that he lied, but it's a lot. So, what do you think is going to happen to him? You think they'll impeach him, you mean? No. Or no, he'll resign, or what? I don't know. Look, I'm not. I'm not claiming to be any sort of an expert in legal proceedings. I have no idea. Me either. What the That's why happen. I quoted Dershowitz. Yeah, I think. <laughs> well, isn't Dershowitz working with Trump? No. Giuliani is. Oh, that's right. Dershowitz Another is the. Dumb guy. I always go to Dershowitz because he's Trump, a fucking lib. Trump averaged 15 inaccuracies oh, and mistruths a day yeah. in 2018, What's almost the, triple the rate from a year before. Okay, but hold on a second. What's the in, independent inaccuracies and in mistruths? It's a European paper. Yeah, but isn't that a little odd? 15 a day? No, because I don't know who's making that claim. I don't okay. know the well, exact 15 inaccuracies. Oh, you you doubt that it's true? You think it's all a lie? That it just made up the fact that he lies a lot? Uh, 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 lies about what? First of all, what's the definition of a lie? I don't know. Let's see. It says Washington Post, who they hate. Uh, you who know, hates Jeff Trump. Bezos. Yeah. Who absolutely uh, hates Trump. So the president Trump. made 1,989 such claims in 2018. <laughs> by the last day of 2018. Yeah, you're going to the Washington Post. That's okay, my but, point. But what? But let's what, see what it says. I mean, they can't lie. The total figure has <laughs> risen to 7,600. So you think they just made up all these lies? Of course. Not all of them, I'm sure. But you could you could go back with Hillary and mm. fucking count. You could go to uh, go to Fox News and then put all, pull up an article of how many times Hillary was inaccurate. Do you know what a whataboutism is? A whataboutism? Yeah, when someone talks about something and instead of refuting it with facts, they go, yeah, well, what about Hillary? What about Bill? Bill did it too. What about this? What about but, that? Are you that's gonna, a, you're that's gonna a tell uh, that's what I just committed. That was a what about Because you were saying that Hillary lied. But you both to, agree. But you're making my point. You're going me, to the Washington me, Post. Okay, well, that's just Jamie pulled up the Independent. No, I, I, we, okay. could go, we could go anywhere. But hold on a second. Yeah. Look, I'm with you. I think Hillary's a liar. I think she deleted 30,000 emails. Right. I think it's criminal. I think the, right. the Clinton Foundation's a, 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 a fucking fully illegal organization. But, I think they but, rigged the DNC. I think they, they, they rigged the primaries right. against Bernie. Right. I'm with you. I'm not a supporter. No, I'm, I'm not saying you are, but w when's the last time somebody made a statement like that and, like and said this many inaccuracies when Bill Clinton was in office? Or, well, I don't think he lied or, as much. Or, or Hillary I'm sure, or whatever. I'm sure there was some inaccuracies, but first of all, when Bill Clinton was in office, they weren't- Did they count Obama's? I don't know, but that's a whataboutism. You know what I'm saying? We're just talking about mm. Trump. You were saying that Trump doesn't lie. And they're saying he lies. I'm not saying he doesn't lie. I'm times. just first of all. Well, you said what does he lie about? No, well, first of all, you know. I like to know the definition of a lie. If he misstates something, do you think he does it accidentally? Right. 
I'm sure sometimes when you're talking that much. Okay, so if he lies one thousand well, nine hundred times, give me an example day. of a blatant. Li- yeah, that's fucking. It's Washington Post. It's horseshit. I don't know. I do. You think I it's watch all it all lies? The Not Washington Post all is all of it. Okay. He's a he, no. He's a bullshitter for sure. Yes, but 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 so to take mean, care, Joe, would you argue that they haven't been trying to take him down since he came down that fucking escalator? How about the deep state? How about the how about the fucking dossier? What? Why is it? And anybody wait, wait, not whoa, being, What does that mean? The dossier. What dossier? The fake dossier, Christopher Steele, that they used to get the the, the, the FISA Explain application. Explain to people what they're what you're talking about. I so. just did. But they know no, what no, I'm no. talking about. No, 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 no. They don't. They don't because I don't know. What do you mean? The dossier, the fake dossier. Remember they said. Do you they know had, what he's talking about? They had yes. They had. You have Hold to know on. this. So you're being willfully ignorant. No, I, I don't know. The, 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 Nick, Nick, I don't know. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm explaining. But hold on a second. Do you know? Do, I've heard these are terms. I've heard yes and this stuff. But don't, you don't know the full extent. Yeah, of the story. yeah. Well, this is what I'm talking about. This is as big a story as anything Trump has done. What is the story? The Steele dossier that uh, Hillary used. They went to. You had to get a, a, a application from the FISA courts. And they went, they used uh, DNC opposition. Christopher Steele, who's a British guy, had connections in Russia. Remember when they said Trump was at a hotel and watching girls peeing on each other? Yes. That was all in the Steele dossier. Christopher Steele is his name. They used that in their application to get a FISA warrant to spy on Trump during his campaign. That's fact. That's not me being a right winger. That is fact. Okay. So, but the fact that, that like, that you don't know that. No, I remember that now. Oh, that, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. But you, that's you a big story as Trump, you know, lying about the number of people at his inauguration. I, I want to know the. I, I want to know a lie from Trump that's uh, equal uh, equal in power as like when Obama said, that, you know, lied about health care that you could keep your health care and all that. Give me an example of Trump with that big of a lie. Well, listen, I told you. I'm he not does a, lie. I'm not saying he doesn't. All, all presidents lie. All politicians lie. I'm, so d- I'm just saying they start to count it when Trump took over. They started keeping, you know, well, because keeping it's statistics. So egregious. Well, like what? Give me an like, example. Like, look, we just showed you all the numbers that the Washington from Post From the Washington from, Post. So if I give you another example, you're going to say, oh, that's yeah, well, from if this you go or to that's from If you go to salon.com. Well, we won't go to salon.com. All right. We'll go, go to, I don't know what you go to. We've gotten more done than any other administration. Okay. This is a lie. So true. Blah, blah, blah. See, now, so, if somebody says see that's a says. lie... Well, let's see what it says. Jamie, go back to it. What are you doing? But who's saying that's a lie? You well, know? let's see. Let's see. <laughs> you, okay. Let's see what All it right. says. Jesus Christ, you're so defensive. It's like, do you work well, for the organization? No, I don't, but you're putting... You, you, I'm saying what you're it's, using I'm the Washington Post. No, this isn't the Washington Post. Well, what is it? In this the, is NBC. In the independent. Oh, the NBC! <laughs> Okay, NBC. Okay, so That's everything is bad. Look, man, I'm yes. just reading what's in front of me. I know, and I'm just... But you're uh, so emotional about well, this. It's ridiculous. I have four cups of coffee in me, We well, should have had two. Huh? Oh, please. Look you at know you. I'm right. So, I don't the know you're media, right. That's what it, we're talking about Are you going to tell me you don't know that the mainstream media hates Trump? They are do. you going to... I do. Well, I, then why I would you? Why would you put your fucking... Because I want to know if, you whether back? or not they are saying well, what, what is... Fa- stop, stop doing that, Jamie. Go back to where it was. You can't go... Says Trump... Later said that yeah. he intended the UN moment to garner a laugh, but that has repeated this claim seriously since. Okay, so he says Which that my, str- the, my administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of the country. So this is just that's an, this that's falls an into exaggeration. Him being a bullshitter, that's right? hyperbole, right? And people were laughing when he said that, right. and so he was saying that he meant to say it as a laugh. Okay, uh, there are Hardly- varying measures of success. But it's not true that his administration has been more successful than any other administration in history. When it comes to legislation, Trump has signed plenty of bills in his first two years as president. Mm. But Barack Obama in his first two years has significantly more, signed significantly more. Okay, this is just one thing. I mean, I'm sure there's many, many other things that Absolutely. you could keep going over and over again. I'm, I'm with you I'm in not that saying he's not a to, bullshitter, but I'm just saying okay. all of a sudden they keep score. when, when try, He's because no it's more a of a liar thing than, to keep score because he lies so much. Well, fun who's thing keeping who was keeping score when fucking Hillary was Secretary of State? Well, it's a or different Senator thing when in Washington, Secretary of State, and I don't know how much she lied as opposed to how much he her lies. Her lies are a lot bigger. There's about her fucking server and about the Steele dossier. That that is huge. That is getting undercovered like nobody's been. That that dwarfs Watergate when they unmask General Flynn. That 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 dwarfs Watergate. Mm, that's an interesting com- uh, conversation. I don't it know is. if that's the truth. I don't know enough about Watergate. All right, but and I don't know enough opinion. about that either. Okay, 
Is it the coffee going on here? Well, yeah, I'm Why fucking strung out. Can we, can we move well, well, away since when you get afraid of an political? emotional guy? I'm fucking it's not nuts. emotional. It's just I'm just. But you're well, acting you're, as if I'm against you. And you're I'm not, not against me. Even if you were, that would be fine. But you, I'm not. You're not against me. But I'm just saying to call Trump a bigger lie than the fucking every other politician is an exaggeration. I don't know by if the it mainstream is. media who hates his guts. I think most politicians are liars. I think they're Absolutely. just they're accustomed <laughs> to doing that. But I think. The way he lies is unusual. <laughs> I think it's the numbers Twitter, are unusual. It's just an unusual. You He's, don't think so? He he exaggerates like statements like that mm-hmm. is an exaggeration. Although he did do a lot in his first couple of years, would never get credit for it. You know, unless you watched Fox News, you're not going to. But, um, would, but you, the, would you agree that as you get older, you become more like more conservative? No, I was always a bit of a dick. I got a tattoo of Nixon on my ass. Hold on, let me show you. I thought it was four. Yes, no, I would say that was, that's a, what do they say about if you're young, you know, if you're young and conservative, you have no soul. No, no heart. And yeah, if you're no. old and, and liberal, liberal, you have stu- no mind. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, I, w- I would say uh, that's true, but I could always detect the bullshit. You know, I mean, I mean, I remember watching CNN in an airport when I first started comedy, and that's like 1988, you know, and getting excited at some of the shit. Well, it's interesting because, uh, I don't disagree with you on everything, and I love you as a person. You're a great guy. I like you a lot. Always happy to see you. But yet, you and I here get a little heated That's talking good. about this stuff. But this is politics. This is how divisive politics are. If even a person like but me, but I would never, I would never fucking, uh, I would never leave here going. I don't want to do that show again. No, no, I, I hate sure. Joe. Ro- Look, I, I've known this each other is for great. We've known each other for thirty years. Yeah, you know, it's not, that's not the problem. What I'm saying is, I'm just using it as an example of how divisive politics. Oh, are. absolutely. When people talk, but about I'm not things. afraid of it. No, you know, you know what I mean. A lot of people are right. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm not afraid of it. A lot of people are afraid of bad vibes and bad feelings. They, and this is <laughs> yes, one of the they things. Are. But this is one of the things that makes people toe the line. Right. This the fear of this kind of altercation, the fear of this kind of like you don't want that from inside your party, so you right. you start right. using they and them, you start th- thinking that everyone should be able to use any bathroom that they feel like they identify with. You start go- you start going along the line. It's one of the more interesting things about politics is that if you tell me that you are Republican, I can kind of guess your stance on God. I can kind of guess your stance on being pro-life, or pro-choice, yeah. Second Amendment rights. It's like all those things sort of fall in line, and it's very interesting. It's very interesting how you you sort of adopt. Uh, not you, but people sort of adopt uh, a whole group of things when you decide you're a Republican or you right. decide you're a Democrat. Right. I don't, but see, I don't think I fall into that. 